Hello friends, this video limits and derivatives part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. Example, we have to find the value of sin 4x by sin 2x where x tends to 0. So in this example, we have to find the value of sin 4x by sin 2x where x tends to 0. First thing what we'll do, we'll put x equal to 0. So we'll get sin of 4 into 0 by sine of 2 into 0. So that becomes sine 0 by sine 0 that is 0 by 0. Since it is 0 by 0 form we are confident that we can write this rewrite this equation in some form where we will get the value. So what we can do we can write this in this form sine 4x by 4x we will multiply it by 4x and this sine 2x we had so we'll just say multiply and divide by 2x also. Correct? That's what we have done here. Why? Because we know that limit of sine x by x where x tends to 0 is 1. This formula we know. So we have just rewriting this in this form sine 4x by 4x and sine 2x by 2x. Limit of x tends to 0. So what we'll get here is this is nothing but limit of x tends to 0 sine of 4x by 4x into right limit x tends to 0 2x by sine of 2x into x x cancel 2 and 4 x cancel get 2. 2. This is what we have got. Now we know that limit of x tends to 0 sin x by 4x is nothing but limit of 4x tends to 0 sin x by 4x or the same thing. Similarly limit of x tends to 0 sin x by 2x we can say 2x tends to 0 because x tends to 0 2x zero is from the same thing. So this value is nothing but 1 because we have this formula here x equal to 4x. Similarly this value will also be 1 by 1. Here also x is equal to nothing but 2x and this is equal to so what you get is 2 as the answer. Very simple what we have done. We have just rewritten this formula in this form sin x by 4x and here sin 2x by 2x and we have used the formula limit of sin x by x where x tends to 0 is equal to 1. This is x tends to 0 is equal to 1. So here what we have done we have made 4x x equal to 4x actually to fit to the formula and here x equal to 2x to fit to the formula. This is a very simple question where we have to uh, write the value of tan x by x where x tends to 0. First we will just put the value of x equal to 0 will become tan 0 by 0 this becomes 0 by 0. So it is 0 by 0 that means we can rewrite this in different form. Tan x we can write as sin x by cos x correct. Why we are writing this in sin x by cos x because here also we will use the same formula limit of sin x by x where x tends to 0 is nothing but 1. So we have this form. Now what we can do we can write in this form limit of x tends to 0 sin x by x into limit of x tends to 0 1 by cos x. Correct? So if you use this formula limit of x tends to 0 sin x by x this becomes 1 and here x tends to 0 cos x will just put the value of cos x equal to 0 cos 0 and cos 0 is 1 we know this becomes 1 by 1 by 1 and that is that is the answer. See what we are doing here is we first try to build, put the value of x equal to 0 in most of the equations. If we get 0 by 0 form we know that we can somehow rewrite this equation to make sure that the part which is making it 0 by 0 is cancelled. So here we have seen that uh, we have rewritten this in sin x by cos x. So we got sin x by x form and that value is nothing but 1. So we wrote this value as 1. But for 1 by cos x even if you put x equal to 0 it is not infinite it is 1. So we have put that cos equal to 0 and we got 1 by 1 total values. Here we have to find the value of this function ax square plus bx plus c by cx square plus bx plus a where x tends to 1. And a plus b plus c is not equal. First thing what we'll do, we'll put the value of x equal to 1. So what we'll get? a into 1 square plus b into 1 plus c 
because we have put x equal to 1 here. Similarly, c into 1 square plus b into 1 plus a. That is nothing but a plus b plus c by c plus b plus a. Or we can say this is nothing but a plus b plus c plus by a plus b plus c. And that is 1. Since it is 1, it is a finite value, we did not do anything. This is the answer. Had this been 0 by 0 form, we would have thought of rewriting this. But since the value is already 1, we need not do anything, we will just say this is the answer. And it's already said that a plus b plus c is not equal to this. Very simple. And also we had to find the value of uh, this function x tends to 0. First thing, we'll put the value of x equal to 0. So this becomes cos x 0 minus cot 0. And this is nothing but infinite minus infinite. So this is not in correct form. So we have to rewrite this. So let's do that. So we'll rewrite this cos x as nothing but 1 by sin x. You can write and cot as nothing but cos x by sin x. Why we did this? We just wanted to rewrite this and we'll explore what is the best possible way. Now we can say that this is nothing but 1 minus cos x by sin x. Correct. This is nothing but x tends to 0. 1 minus cos x by sin x. But the only formula we know that sin x by x. Correct. So what we can do is, we can divide this whole thing by x because we know sin x by x. So what we'll do, we'll divide this by x and we'll divide this by x. Both sides. Correct. So what we can write this as, nothing but I like it here, limit of x tends to 0, 1 minus cos x by x, divide by limit of x tends to 0, sin x by x. Correct. And this value we know is 1. Now we have to find the value of this. 1 minus cos x by x, again we can write this 2 sin square x by 2 because we know sin x by x, limit x is 0, but we don't know cos x by x limit is 0, that value we don't know. So we'll write it in this form. So this becomes limit of x tends to 0, 2 sin square x by 2 by x, divide by 1, divide by 1, this is 1 actually. 2 sin square x by 2, what we can do, we can put x in here. So what we'll get this as limit of x tends to 0, we'll get sin x by 2 into sin x by 2 by x by 2. What we have done, we have just taken this 2 here. Now we can rewrite this as nothing but limit of sin x by 2 x tends to 0 into limit of sin x by 2 by x by 2. We can say x by 2 tends to 0 because x tends to 0 or x by 2 tends to 0 is one the same thing. Correct? We have written this. Now let's put the value x equal to 0. So this becomes sin of 0 by 2 into this becomes 1 because this is a standard formula we have that is sine of x by x where x tends to 0 this becomes 1. Okay. This formula we have. Same formula we applied here this becomes 1. This becomes 1. And sine 0 by 2 is sine 0 that is 0 into 1. This becomes 0. The total value of this function is 0. That is the answer. Very simple what we have done. We have first put the value of uh, x is equal to 0 in this function. We got infinite. So what we have done again, we have rewritten this equation in this form and 1 minus cos x again we wrote to 2 sin square x by 2 because we know the formula of only sin x by x form and we have found the answer as 0. In this example, we have to find the value of tan 2x by x minus 5 by 2 limit x tends to. Since we know only limit x tends to 0, all the formula which we have because looking at the formula we can say that we can somehow convert this into sin x by x form. Right, because tan x equal to sin x by cos x and we know only of x tends to 0 form. So what we can do here, we can see that, we can see that let's suppose y is equal to let's suppose x minus pi by 2. We'll assume this. So when I say that x is tending to pi by 2, we can say that 
x minus pi by 2 is tending to pi by 2 minus pi by 2 that is 0 and x minus pi by 2 is nothing but y so we can say y tends to so we can rewrite this equation as tan of 2 into x is nothing but y plus pi by 2 now it is y plus pi by 2 correct by x minus pi by 2 is nothing but y y and instead of x tends to pi by 2 we can say that y tends to 0 correct so we have read it in this form in this equation why because we have always sin x by x where x tends to 0 this formula will so we have read it in this, in this form so this becomes nothing but tan 2y plus tan 2y plus pi x by y y tends to zero. So tan of x plus pi is always tan of x actually. So this becomes tan of 2y by y where y tends to limit of x. This is the value we've got. This looks that we can some more find the value. So I'll write this as nothing but tan of 2y I can write sin of 2y by cos of 2y. Why? Because I know the value of sin of x by x by 1 by y y tends to zero. Correct? Now we have the form. We know the formula of sin 2y by 2y because sin of x by x. So sin 2y by 2y. So I'll divide and multiply by. So this equation I can say that this is nothing but limit of y tends to 0 sin of 2y by 2y right into 2y cos 2y right this i also can also say limit of y tends to 0 correct so when i say limit of y tends to 0 i can also say limit of 2y tends to 0 one of the same thing and this equation if you see is almost similar to this equation x tends to 0 where sin x by x here x is nothing but 2y so i can write this value as 1 this becomes 1 into 2 by cos of 2 into 0 that is cos of 0 and that cos of 0 is 1 so this becomes 1 into 2 and that is the answer so that is nothing but 2 2 is the answer very similar to what we have done first we have seen that this was 10x by x form and it, it was x minus x tends to pi by 2 but we know that always we have this formula of sin x by x where x tends to 0 so we assume that y is equal to x minus pi by 2 so we say x is tending to pi by 2 we can say x minus pi by 2 tending to 0 or we can say y is tending to 0 so we rewrote this equation in this form tan 2y 2 into y minus pi by 2 y plus pi by 2 by y where y tend to 0 or this is nothing but tan of tan 2y by y by y tend to 0 tan of 2y we can say is nothing but sin of 2y by cos of 2y and then we have used this formula that limit of sin 2y by 2y where 2y tends to 0 is nothing but 1 and we have got the answer thank you Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.